हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ अरडी महाजन प्रेजेंटिंग माय वीडियो ऑन इनवर्स हेड ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड बाय रेसिड्यू टेक्निक लेट अस डिफाइन दैट टर्म इनवर्स हेड ट्रांसफॉर्म इफ द ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ ऑफ एन इज एफ बार ऑफ जेड देन इनवर्स हेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्म दिस ऑपरेटर टू राइट हैंड साइड वी गेट इनवर्स हेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ बार ऑफ जेड एज एफ ऑफ एन With the condition n greater than or equal to zero, and to determine this inverse jet transform, we are using a residue technique. The first form that inverse jet transform is equals to sum of the residues of uh, that z minus a multiplied by z is to n minus one into f bar of z at the poles of f bar of z, and if all the poles are simple poles. then we use this technique the second technique uh, residues at the pole m times repeated at point z is equals to a is obtained by uh, residue at point z is equals to a as if it is m times repeated then it is 1 upon m minus 1 factorial and same order derivative of with respect to z that is d raised to m minus 1 upon dz raised to m minus 1 of z minus a raised to m Multiplied by z raised to n minus one into f bar of z at z is equals to a. Therefore, uh, first form when poles are simple poles, and second form when poles are repeated pole, m times repeated pole. Then first simple example of first type. Uh, first example find inverse z transform of z upon z minus a, and to find its z transform, we use this residue technique. let like that function f bar of z as z upon z minus a then to find the pole equating the denominator term to zero we get z is equals to a as a simple pole and if we put that value as z is equal to a here a minus a we get zero And any number by zero, we get that f bar of z is infinity. Therefore, that value of z for which uh, f bar of z becomes infinity is called as a pole. Then multiply this f bar of z by z raised to n minus one on both sides. Therefore, we get z raised to n minus one into f bar of z as Uh, z raised to n minus one into z upon z minus a, and that is nothing but uh, adding the power of z, we get that as z raised to n divided by z minus a. Then finding the residue at simple pole z is equals to a by first formula, it is. Z minus a multiplied by this term, z raised to n minus one into f bar of z, and that value is here, z raised to n upon z minus a at z is equals to a. Uh, this z minus a, z minus a get cancelled, and therefore we get a remaining term as z raised to n. At z is equals to a, and therefore that value is a raised to n. And then only one pole means only one residue, and therefore that inverse z transform f of n is equals to sum of the residues. And therefore here it is. Only one residue that is a raised to n. Therefore, we get f of n is equal to a raised to n, and for the condition n greater than or equal to zero. And if we try to recollect the z transform of a raised to n, standard result is z transform is z upon z minus a. Means we get the correct answer. Therefore, inverse z transform of z upon z minus a is a raised to n. Obtained by this residue technique. Uh, one more problem. 
second example find inverse z transform of z upon z minus 1 into z minus 3 uh, here consider that f bar of z let f bar of z as given function z upon z minus 1 up into z minus 3 whose inverse z transform is required then there are two factors in the denominator equating each to 0 we get z is equals to 1 and z is equals to 3 these two are simple poles and as these two are simple poles we use the first formula to find the residue the first one residue at z is equals to 1 is equals to z minus a here it is z minus 1 but before that multiply it by z raised to n minus 1 and therefore it is z raised to n minus 1 into f bar of z is equal to z raised to n minus 1 into z divided by z minus 1 and z minus 3 and therefore it is equals into if we multiply this term z s to n minus 1 into z the remaining term is z s to n and whole divided by z minus 1 into z minus 3 and at z is equals to a a is here 1 and therefore this z minus 1 z minus 1 get cancelled we have z s to n divided by z minus 3 at z is equals to 1 and therefore substituting z is equals to 1 here we get 1 raised to n divided by 1 minus 3 and therefore it is 1 raised to n 1 minus 3 is minus 2 as a first residue a residue at the pole z is equals to 1 then we try to determine the residue at the second pole a residue at the poles z is equals to 3 applying this formula it is z minus a means z minus 3 multiplied by this term z s to n minus 1 into f bar of z that term is z s to n whole divided by z minus 1 into z minus 3 at z is equals to a a is a 3 this time this uh, z minus 3 cancel with this z minus 3 we get a remaining term as z s to n whole divided by z minus 1 at z is equals to 3 and therefore substituting the value as z is equal to 3 here we get 3 raised to n divided by uh, 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 as 2 uh, equation 2 and then uh, that inverse z transform f of n is sum of the residues therefore second residue is 3 raised to n by 2 and minus the first residue is 1 raised to n by 2 with minus sign and therefore we get this we can take 1 by 2 common from this 2 it is uh, 3 raised to n minus 1 raised to n with the condition n greater than or equal to 0 as the uh, required inverse jet transform obtained by this uh, residue technique applying the first formula as 
both the poles are simple pole. Some more I will discuss in my next video. Please like my video, share it as well as subscribe to my channel and to receive the notification for my such type of new videos, please press the bell icon. Thank you. Thanks for watching.